Welcome to this edition of Business Blockchain Projects, hosted by Hyperledger. My name is Tracy Kurt. For those of you who have not met me, I am the Community Architect for Hyperledger. As a Community Architect, I want to help you get involved with the Hyperledger technical community. That starts by understanding the different projects that are hosted by Hyperledger. Today, I'm going to provide an introduction into the Linux Foundation and Hyperledger. We are then going to spend some time looking at the 10 different projects that exist within the Hyperledger umbrella. Following that, we will take a look at the features of the two projects that have reached a 1.0 milestone. Lastly, we will look at additional steps that you can take for continuing your involvement with Hyperledger. The Linux Foundation was originally formed in 2000 to provide a home for the Linux operating system. However, its work extends far beyond Linux. Today, we are fostering innovation in every layer of the software stack. The Linux Foundation hosts projects spanning enterprise, IT, embedded systems, consumer electronics, cloud, networking, and more. You can see a few of these projects listed here. Let's Encrypt is a free automated and open certificate authority. The Open Network Automation Platform, or ONAP, allows for real-time policy-driven software automation of virtual network functions. Kubernetes is a cloud-native computing foundation project that provides production-grade container orchestration. Automotive-grade Linux provides a platform for automotive applications. The Node.js Foundation is building and supporting the Node.js platform. And of course, Hyperledger, the reason we are here today. Hyperledger is an open source collaborative effort created to advance cross-industry blockchain technologies. Hyperledger is the fastest growing project ever hosted by the Linux Foundation and now has more than 185 members. The project was first announced with 30 members in February of 2016. Hyperledger's membership is global with 39% in APAC, 25% in China, 20% in EMEA, and 41% spread across North America. Our membership also spans multiple industries, including finance, banking, Internet of Things, supply chain, manufacturing, healthcare, and technology. Now let's take a closer look at the Hyperledger umbrella, including understanding the different projects that exist within Hyperledger. As I mentioned, Hyperledger is a collaborative project under the Linux Foundation. At Hyperledger, we provide a neutral home for collaboration, as well as legal services, marketing and PR, developer and vendor coordination, and community development and advocacy. Hyperledger incubates and promotes a range of business blockchain technologies, including distributed ledger frameworks, smart contract engines, client libraries, development and operation tools, as well as sample applications. The Hyperledger umbrella strategy encourages the reuse of common building blocks and enables rapid innovation of DLT components. Hyperledger currently consists of 10 open source projects, seven of which are in incubation and three that have graduated to active status. The three active projects are Hyperledger Fabric, Hyperledger Sawtooth, and Hyperledger Eroha. Hyperledger Fabric was the first project that was contributed to Hyperledger by IBM and Digital Asset. It was also the first framework to reach a 1.0 release. Smart contracts are called chain code, which with the 1.0 release are written in Go language. With the release of 1.1, chain code can also be written in JavaScript. Chain code runs inside a secure Docker container. One of the major features that Hyperledger Fabric brings is a concept called channels. Channels are a private subnet of communication between two or more specific network members for the purpose of conducting private and confidential transactions. Only the network members that are part of that channel can see those transactions. Intel contributed Hyperledger Sawtooth as the second project under the Hyperledger umbrella. It is also the second project to reach the 1.0 milestone. The two features that I want to call out with Hyperledger Sawtooth are Proof of Elapsed Time Consensus Mechanism and the support for the Ethereum Virtual Machine. Proof of Elapsed Time, also known as POET, is a consensus mechanism that utilizes the secure enclave on the Intel chips to mimic the proof of work algorithm, but without the high energy consumption that's required by proof of work. It does this by providing a random wait timer to the different validators or nodes that are on the network. The first validator whose random wait timer expires will generate the next block that is on the blockchain. The Hyperledger Sawtooth community and the Hyperledger Borough community came together to implement the Ethereum Virtual Machine as a transaction family within Sawtooth. This means that you can bring your Solidity contracts to Hyperledger Sawtooth. 
Hyperledger Iroha was contributed by Soromitsu, Hitachi, NTT Data, and Kolu. It is a blockchain framework that is written in C++ with an emphasis on mobile application development. Hyperledger Indy was contributed by the Sovereign Foundation. It is focused on identity rooted on the blockchain, specifically focused on self-sovereign identity, which allows us as individuals to take back ownership of our personal information. This is done via verifiable claims that utilize zero-knowledge proofs to provide information about you without providing the underlying data. A typical example that is used in this space is proving that you are over 21. Today, in order to enter a bar in the United States, I have to prove that I am over 21. I do this by handing over my driver's license, which has not only my date of birth, but also my name and address and other information that is not required to enter the bar. A verifiable claim would allow me to provide an attestation to the bar that can be verified without having to have access to my birth date, let alone all the other pieces of information that I would be handing over. Hyperledger Burrow was contributed by Monax and was formerly known as ErisDB. Hyperledger Burrow was the first permission ledger with support for the EVM. It uses Tendermint as its consensus mechanism. Hyperledger Composer was contributed by IBM and Oxchains. It is a suite of tools that allows you to quickly model your business blockchain network using business terminology. This would include the participants, assets, and transactions that are part of the business network. Since the modeling language is business friendly, you do not need a developer to create this model. The only point where a developer would be required is to implement the underlying transaction logic. This allows for your business people and developers to work closely together to define the network. In addition, from the model, you can easily generate REST APIs that will allow your existing developers to utilize blockchain without needing to understand the underlying infrastructure. This is a great tool for quickly bringing up a proof of concept. Hyperledger Cello was contributed by IBM and is focused on DevOps. Hyperledger Cello allows you to quickly deploy your business networks and provides the ability to monitor your blockchain networks. Your blockchain network can be deployed on bare metal, virtual machine, or the cloud. Hyperledger Explorer was contributed by IBM, Intel, and DTCC with recent Hyperledger Fabric version 1.0 support provided by OneChain. Hyperledger Explorer allows you to visualize your blockchain network including exploring the blocks and transactions, being able to see information about the blockchain network and the channels that exist. Hyperledger Quilt was contributed by NTT Data and Ripple. It is a Java implementation of the Interledger protocol. The Interledger protocol provides two things. First, the ability to do atomic swaps between ledgers, even if those ledgers are not distributed ledgers. An atomic swap is when both the debit and the credit happen on the two ledgers at the same time. The second thing that the interledger protocol provides is a single account namespace for accounts within each ledger. Hyperledger Caliper is the most recent project. It was contributed by Huawei. Hyperledger Caliper is a blockchain benchmark tool which allows users to measure the performance of a specific blockchain implementation with a set of predefined use cases. The performance indicators that are currently supported by Caliper include success rate, throughput or TPS, the transaction confirmation latency, and resource consumption, such as CPU, memory, and network I.O. Hyperledger Caliper currently supports Hyperledger Fabric 1.0, Hyperledger Sawtooth 0.8, and the develop branch of Hyperledger Iroha. Now we are going to take a look at the first two projects within Hyperledger that have released a 1.0 version. The 1.0 milestone signals to the users of the project that the community feels that the software is ready for production use cases. The Hyperledger Fabric community is currently working on the 1.1 release. Some of the features that are included in the 1.1 release include Node.js chain code. With the 1.1 release, you will now be able to write your smart contracts in both Golang and JavaScript. An encryption library that allows you to encrypt sensitive data that a chain code processes and updates Attribute space access control. This allows you to use the attributes inside of your Fabric CA generated certificates to control access within your chain code functions. Performance improvements, including improvements to the order, identity caching, parallel transaction validation, and CouchDB. In addition, the source code includes a number of experimental features that can be enabled if you build the source with an experimental compile flag. 
These features include Java Chain Code, which also then allows you to write your smart contracts in Java in addition to both JavaScript and Golang. Finer grained access control to limit who can invoke chain code, retrieve blocks, retrieve transactions, amongst others. Private channel data, which will keep data on a channel private. This data will never be sent to the ordering service. The private data is shared with a subset of peers governed by policies via the gossip protocol. The Hyperledger Sawtooth framework has a number of interesting features. We've already talked about the proof of elapsed time consensus mechanism and the Ethereum virtual machine the support that was provided when the Hyperledger Sawtooth community and the Hyperledger Borough community came together. So let's talk about some of these other ones. Dynamic consensus. So this allows you via a transaction to change which consensus mechanism is utilized. This transaction is stored on the chain. You can write your smart contracts in a number of different languages, including C, C++, JavaScript, Go, Java, and Python. And the community has also created a supply chain example that you can use out of the box. And then parallel transaction executions for added throughput. The final topic on our agenda is to look at different ways that you can get involved with the Hyperledger community. We welcome you to participate in the Hyperledger community. Because we are an open source project, we have a number of different ways that you can participate. For communications, we offer a number of mailing lists and chat channels for the different projects and working groups within Hyperledger. We offer Hackfest, where the core developers get together with other interested members of the community to discuss the projects and work on new ideas. We have a wiki where you can get the latest information on what is happening in the community. You can search for and report new bugs in JIRA. We have over 85 meetups across the world that are focused on Hyperledger. We have a number of different working groups that are focused on a wide variety of topics, which we'll look at closely on the next slide. And of course, the source code is all open source, so you can download and use any of the projects within Hyperledger. Hyperledger hosts a number of different working groups. The Technical Steering Committee is made up of 11 active members of the technical community who are elected on a yearly basis by other active members of the technical community. The TSC is responsible for setting the technical direction of Hyperledger, including approving of proposals for new projects. The Architecture Working Group serves as a cross-project forum for architects and technologists from the Hyperledger community to exchange ideas and explore alternate architectural options and trade-offs. Their focus is on developing a modular architectural framework for enterprise class distributed ledgers. This includes identifying common and critical components, providing a functional decomposition of an enterprise blockchain stack into component layers and modules, standardizing interfaces between the components, and ensuring interoperability between ledgers. The Requirements Working Group is a bridge between a business-oriented community and the Hyperledger projects, with the purpose of building robust, blockchain and distributed ledger technology software for commercial and non-commercial entities. The Requirements Working Group is focused on developing specific use cases to make it easier for enterprises to experiment and adopt Hyperledger projects. This also includes identifying and documenting specific use cases in financial, supply chain, logistics, and other key business areas utilizing Hyperledger projects. The Identity Working Group discusses, researches, and documents ways to capture, store, transmit, and use identities on the DLT, specifically for projects under the Hyperledger umbrella. The identities can be of nodes that participate in the running of the DLT or entities that transact on the DLT. The Performance and Scale Working Group discusses, researches, and identifies key metrics that relate to the performance and scalability of a blockchain and blockchain-related technologies. The White Paper Working Group was created to write a paper that provides an overview of Hyperledger and the projects that make up the umbrella. The Training and Education Working Group is focused on developing open source training material that will be licensed as specified by the Hyperledger Charter. The intent is to educate people interested in expanding their knowledge of Hyperledger and its projects. The Technical Working Group China is a bridge between the global Hyperledger community and the emerging technical user and contributor community in China and the Greater China region, including Hong Kong and Taiwan. The Industry Working Groups will bring together companies and organizations from a specific industry to further advance the knowledge of how Hyperledger technologies can be used within that industry. 
These working groups are open to anyone who would like to participate and contribute their knowledge and skills. In addition, all meetings are recorded, so if you miss a meeting, you can go back and listen to or watch it at a later time. The Linux Foundation has also created a free online course that is offered by edX.org. This course was designed with both business and technical people in mind. The course starts by providing an introduction to blockchain technologies. It then introduces Hyperledger and the projects, looks at a number of different use cases, and then starts digging into the technical material. It looks at the architectures of Hyperledger Roja, Hyperledger Fabric, and Hyperledger Sawtooth. And you can get a running instance and example set up for both Hyperledger Fabric and Hyperledger Sawtooth. Thank you for spending the time to learn about the different projects within the Hyperledger umbrella. We look forward to seeing you at an upcoming live webinar session where we will dig in deeper on how to participate and answer questions that you might have.